What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Nudge Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz, Thor, Love and Thunder. And the reason being is because the confirmations for us speaking to what every one of you saw and, and a lot of you said, that this was too goofy. Here goes Sir Anthony Hopkins confirming those very sentiments. This movie was goofy. And now you got Chris Hemsworth talking about, yeah, this it was a little bit too much. It was a little bit too silly. Yo, you knowing this or seeing this, why were you wasting people's time? You know, this is... This is another subject we gotta talk. Kevin Feige, man, we gotta talk about Hold that. that. Hold Brian. that. That's a take. Yes. Hold that. But um, yeah, Brian. These guys knew that they were doing something that was a little bit over the top because they were saying that this is Taika Waititi times two, even before the movie came out. So they yep. knew what they were doing. So now you're coming out. Yeah, it was a little bit too silly. Brian, what do you, how do you feel about that? All right, so here's Hemsworth's quote from GQ. Quote, I think we just had too much fun. It just became too silly. It's always hard being in the center of it and having any real perspective. I love the process. It's always a ride, but you just don't know how people are going to respond. And then he tossed in the biggest critics of the film were the friends of his son. So he said, it's a bunch of eight-year-olds critiquing my film. We thought this one had too much humor. The action was cool, but the VFX wasn't good. That's an eight-year-old's review. And the silver lining would be like, on the one hand, he's owning it, which is, that's nice. Doesn't change the fact that we got the film in its form. We may have, you know, I think it's going to require at minimum course correction, not just for Thor, but for Hercules and anything they want to do on the Olympian side, if that's now the admission that they went too far, and there's obviously going to be a new director, I think, for the, if there is another Thor movie. Hemsworth also reveals in this article, by the way, not his contract's up. So he he's officially a free agent from this role, and it's kind of saying he doesn't want to come back for a while, joining the the ever-growing ranks <laughs> of the OGs who are like, nah, I'm good. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I got my paper. I'm done. Hey. Hopefully, Brian, we can only hope. And I think Hemsworth and all the other guys are speaking to each other and like holding out for a, a, a huge payday, Brian. Mo money, mo money, mo money. <laughs> Whatever it is that the MCU is trying to attempt to do in terms of bringing back that excitement, it will be hard to do it without them. And hopefully, if Thor comes back, if Chris Hemsworth comes back, I will be excited for that because it will be the opposite of what we got. Yeah, I, I think the shame of Love and Thunder is that, as we talked about in our review, that movie had potential. We, we made a case for how you could make this epic beforehand. And it's like, once we saw the movie even, as, as off the rails as it goes at times, this is not a bad movie from start to finish. That's the that's the yeah. own goal of it. Yeah. There are scenes that are awesome. Christian Bale gives you a performance. It's like you had the Hercules Thor thing sitting right there and you chose you to show it so Korg could get his shine. Like these are these are self-inflicted mistakes by a studio that for whatever reason lost touch with what audiences truly loved about the characters and the pictures they were putting out. It's just a, it's a bad choice. They chose the humor. They chose the silly as what they wanted to lean into instead of the balance that, you know, you and I don't think Ragnarok is necessarily as good as some people do, but that movie was beloved and made a lot of money. And like, they, they missed they, why they got there effectively. Yeah, and they, they went doubled, they down. doubled down on the wrong parts of that. And that's kind of where why we wind up where we're at. You got you had two people that were feeling themselves. It's a hundred percent. It's a heat it had if you watch I went back and watched it a little bit on a plane. It has all the feel of a heat check movie. It a hundred percent is a heat check yeah, movie for, for yeah. both Hemsworth and YT. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely. But what does 
this admission Brian show to the people over at Marvel Brian to the parliament possibly to even Kevin Feige and even to Bob Iger, Bob Iger if you're them or one of them listening to this what is your reaction to it yeah I mean I think right now you're you're searching for tone I mean I think like it's clearly backfired like what what you're what you went for in some of these pictures um you're getting more you've got more praise for some of the better parts of wakanda forever and for guardians 3 which is still lighthearted at points but is definitely more dramatic yeah. and you know for yeah. that's kind of like what marvel was effectively like those movies at their best are kind of what marvel was but i don't think they've really figured out what marvel will be and i don't know that we i don't know that we know that they know like how to fix it just yeah i think that we, we talked about the problems in our mcu and shambles show like there's a lot of issues here i mean I, one of the things i say when i see hemsworth saying he's out of a contract and there's no way he's coming back to the character anytime soon that certainly tells you that thor is not available to help this avengers lineup like that <laughs> definitively is telling you there's no chance you're going to see chris hemsworth <clears throat> as part of this go around of the avengers which goofy or not that's a problem because he's a brand and he's a known and he's a star uh yes quentin tarantino he may be a star in part because of the character as much as his own performance but he is a star mm -hmm. and with robert downey jr gone and chris evans also having sworn off the part and you know obviously scarlett johansson's gone and you know it's great that jeremy renner says he wants to come back but you know we certainly wish the best in his recovery but he's got a long way physically before he can even think about being that character again. hold on sorry my bad My wife just came and interrupted me. <laughs> um, so I, I, I just think it's just one more proven hero, even if it is flawed, that the MCU can't call on. So I, I don't think we're seeing Thor 5 for a long time. I mean, a long time. I mean, again, if it does come, somebody would have to have a hell of a pitch and a hell of a bag to bring him back. I think it would be a more dramatic director. Oh, most certainly. The goofiness will be gone. And this is the lesson that they need to learn. Uh, they, were, they were treading lightly on this tone, on this path of having to have jokes, having to have this humor that everybody has, supposedly. Right? And just, yeah. just, just overdoing it. And well, they certainly can change it because, I mean, Dark World, he's far too serious, which is how you got Ragnarok in the first place. So there's no reason you can't bring him back to center and make Brett Goldstein be more dramatic if you want to keep him. There's no reason you can't. We heard Hercules say one line. It, there's nothing about his character that's been established other than the actor that's playing him is best known for a comedy. But that doesn't mean he can't do something else. They ruined the possibilities with Hercules, man. They ruined it. They ruined it. I mean, just tell, I, I just don't understand. Like you ask anyone, it's like, all right, if I put Hercules in the beginning of this movie, when they go to Olympus and he joins the quest and they play it from the comics where they're sort of rivals, but ultimately friends, and they go up against Christian Bale in some of the action scenes they shot, the black and white world. Are you, how is that not a better movie? How is anyone saying to you, oh, that's that, that I don't want to see that. Like, come on. Layup, Somebody dropped the ball. Layups. <laughs> Blown layups. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, and we have to address that. Um, yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys, uh, I mean, there's, there's people out there that, you know, that love Thor, Love and Thunder, and, and there's many that didn't. Um, but it's, numbers don't lie, even though it made some money, but the critics destroyed it, you yeah, know? By and, the way, and, if that movie comes out today, it's, oh, under, no, 500, it's, a, it's under 500. It made 760 today it would be under 500. i would say be under four, <laughs> under four. i still think it would open big but then it would just crater even worse than it did so yeah just just with the amazing one year later how how, how, how things have changed yeah right and we've been talking about that 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 i guess that set that same uh theme of my 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 how things have changed and by the way before we leave this subject my favorite quote from hemsworth in all this 
was his admission that he did not see Quantum Mania. <laughs> oh my God! He, he saw what got him forever. He's tapped out. He saw what got him forever. <laughs> He did not watch Quantumania. And guess what, Chris? You're not alone. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, everybody seems to be, not everybody, but a many, many have thrown the towel and are done with the MCU. Unless you can build back that FOMO of missing out on some good movies because you have wiped your hands clean. But that's why oh, Guardian MCU. that's why Guardians holds at the theater have been better because the opening weekend was lower yes. because the interest was lower but people were like, "Oh, old MCU Go see it. feels good. Go see it." Yes. All of a sudden it's holding up. Yes. It, it you, it's no mysteries here people what's going on. And I have a we got to tie some of that stuff up together with our next topic. All right. Um but uh yeah, let us know in the conversation below what you guys think uh of the whole MCU and the 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 path on that it's on and the admissions of you know what we already knew this this wasn't you know tough to figure out like why you know people didn't like this movie it's obvious we, we've been telling you for the longest uh but hitting hit that like and subscribe button hit the, um share with your friends and hit that notification bell and we'll see you next time on the nerd gen report the show goes on yeah!